Hello and welcome. Welcome back to my couch. Or in this case, should I say, welcome to my darbar. Now, why did I say that? Because I'm about to interview and be in conversation with the most exciting and exhilarating cast of what is going to possibly be the biggest thing in the digital universe, the first magnum opus, The Empire. Now, why me? Why am I here? Because, guys, it's OTT, and who is more OTT than me? Let's find out who's going to be on this couch very soon. I'd like to call upon my first two guests for the evening. The last time he was here, it was 14 years ago. He had just made his mark in Bollywood back then, and now he's about to rock the digital screens as the new Bachelor in town, the emperor of the empire. And if there's a king, can the enemy be far behind? From supermodel to supervillain, he's had quite the journey. Please join me in welcoming the dashing and the very handsome Kunal Kapoor and Dino Moria. Oh, Yo, baby. Oh, I love it. Take I your seat. Place yourself. Nice. Ah. Wow. Wow. Okay wow. then. Well, I haven't done this in a while. I haven't this done feels this. This fantastic, <laughs> especially with two gorgeous, dashing, good-looking men sitting opposite me. What more can I ask for? But it's not about me. This is all about you. Uh, tell me, what does it really feel like to actually really create history, pun intended? What does it feel like, Kunal? Well, it's been great. I mean, the response has been amazing. What I find uh, incredible about the show is the ambition of it. Right. Whether it's, uh, you know, the costumes, the sets, the action. Uh, I don't think there's been a show of this magnitude uh, in this country. So it's great to be part of uh, the Absolutely. first show of this size. And I'm coming off films where, uh, because of uh, budget constraints, I've had to <laughs> take my own clothes. <laughs> and buy my own tickets. So what does this so mean like? Suddenly, you know, you're on the set, like, which is larger yeah. than life. I mean, the first day I went on the set, uh, they had built the city. And I, I was literally lost. <laughs> and I said, okay, this is what it feels like to be on a big budget. What you call a magnum opus yes. in the digital arena, and it's a first. Yeah. Do you know what is the feeling like? There's excitement in the air, there's a lot of good energy inside. There's great energy, there's a lot of excitement. Like you said, there's, there was no constraints on spending. There was excessive clothes. Yeah. There was excess of everything. There was, there was so much attention to detail and right. it looks magnificent. Mm. Um, I'd like to think we're pioneers in being a part of this magnum opus. Right. The Mughal era, per se, you know, is something that I have researched considerably because right. right. I was actually on, um, about to direct a film. It gave me an insight into that world and what I saw was just spectacular. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. And Thank especially you. each one's individual look. Like, so Kunal, what was that prep like to get into that look, maintain it through the, because we also hit a pandemic in, in right, the middle. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so what did that feel like, you know, because it looks so good. Well, I feel like I was uh, born with the long hair and the beard because it took so long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were supposed to finish in six months and then right. obviously, like you said, the pandemic hit and it took us, uh, it's taken us two years and it's been very challenging, obviously, to yes. shoot uh, uh, during the pandemic. Uh, what was very exciting for me about the look was that uh, this is a character that goes through uh, 25 years. Yeah. So it was very uh, interesting to uh, physically change. It was interesting to uh, make subtle changes in your voice for the younger character and the older character. So uh, that, I think, was very exciting for me to play that span of 25 years. Now with you, Dino, and I saw your look, and it's a badass look. Yeah. It's a really badass look. I mean, that, and that's really interesting coming from you because yes. you've done a plethora of work yes. in the last two decades. Uh, but there hasn't been something this juicy, this exciting, that yeah. may have actually tapped into the actor in you. I definitely think it's something I thought of as very defining for me because this is, this is a character I've never played. Um, I've waited a long time for an yes. opportunity like this. I've said no, 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 for many years, no. And it's tough to say no. And I feel those no's have turned to a yes now. It's like waiting for the green light. When I heard the character, I knew I had to sink my teeth into this and yeah. just give it everything because it has the potential to do so. And I'd like to think I did so. Okay, wonderful. Well, congratulations. It appears so, definitely. Thanks. And, and what about your look? I mean, you went into this like completely like a... Funnily enough, I tried a bald look first for this, for oh, this show. Oh, you did? I did. I tried it. It looked nice. Did you really go bald? No. I, we, you did a prosthetic bald. We did a ball, prosthetic bald and okay. it, it looked really interesting. But then we wanted someone to be a little savagely sexy and, you know, yeah. the long hair well. and... You well, know. Dino, you've been savagely they chose sexy the right, for far too long. They chose the and right person. Is that a good thing? That's a good thing. <laughs> I mean... 
the fact that it is, um, it's against the norm casting makes it that much more exciting, exciting. to you. Yeah. I mean, you know, Kunal, and of course I've read, you know, Rithik's, you know, saying the most wonderful things about the trailer, going yeah. on record and saying it on social media. Now, sure. he's somebody who has played this larger-than-life character. Right. And he's somebody who's very close right. to you. Did you do any kind of a verbal prep with him? Like, you know, any kind of a piece of advice from a bro? <laughs> like, you know, like, how does it really work to do a zone like this? It was a conversation we had a couple of years back. Right. And uh, obviously, you know Dugu, and you yeah. know that he's always trying to raise the bar and he's of always course. looking back at his old work and yeah. saying that you know this is how I could have done it better and I was having a conversation with him and we were talking about Joda Akbar yes and he said that uh, if I had a chance to do it again I would probably make it a little more conversational hmm. and uh, that was something that stuck with me because usually what happens is that uh, you know when you do a historical there is a tendency to play it like a historical yeah, you, know, you, you suddenly wanna, go into a certain You want to say the lines in a certain way and stuff and uh, it becomes a little theatrical. Yeah. So I, I think it's very important uh, for us and you know, fortunately enough our directors felt like that as well, is that uh, it's very important to treat these people like normal people and speak like normal people. And well, that's uh, a refreshing take on a period set piece because yeah. like you rightfully pointed out, that there's a certain degree of self-importance that actors, you know, get yeah. into when they portray parts in period f films, series, historicals. Correct. Firstly, there is no reference of Absolutely. how anybody spoke yeah. in that in that Absolutely. time. Absolutely. It's not that we have like social media <laughs> evidence of the fact like about how the great emperors of the world ruled Absolutely. and what they said and how they came across to their own members of the family like you rightfully pointed right. out. Right. But you're so right that there is a certain theatric. Now, Dino, did you visit any portrayal to kind of get your inspiration or was it purely your own made? It was mostly my own. I actually, I followed an animal. You followed an animal? I mean, for me, <laughs> uh, I like to do this now when, I mean, I, I felt the character was, it was, a, it, was a, it was a tussle between my director, Mitakshara and me because she wanted Panther, I wanted Lion and we went with Panther because there's a, the character is He's that, he's savage, he's, he's stealthy, he's, he's agile, he's strong, you know, he's smart. You know, you never know if he's going to come and you can pet him or he's going to kill you. Oh. So You don't know the reaction. You don't know the, rea the reaction. So what kind of an animal are you off, off this part? Are you still a panther? I'm a puppy. You're a puppy. Oh. Oh. Everybody oh. loves a puppy. Everybody likes a puppy. You just want to be cuddled. I, yep, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Well, we know enough about Dino and won't get into that. Yeah. Because we're I talking think we'll about stick the, with empire. the show. <laughs> Might be an entire episode otherwise. I saw an image recently of you and Ranveer Singh on uh, the football field yeah. uh, and where you look like this and yeah. he looked like how he looked. But there was also a weird, like, bruh, bruh conversation <laughs> that I read online. Now, I want to show you a screen grab of that because I want to make sense of it because I didn't. I don't think uh, they were trying to make sense. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I can imagine that. What is this? So this mean? I posted the picture of yeah. my uh, my character yeah. uh, introduction, yeah. and he went bro, bro. and I went bro. <laughs> so does bro <laughs> just mean validation, bro or does it mean like the bro code bro for something that bro, we're missing? Bro is like it's 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 like. Many, it's like well it's many words, it's, it's many expressions. Like it's amazing, like, like it's fist amazing. bro. It's like, like brother, what have you done? It's like, wow, it's like, bro, bro. I know you've worked with very prolific actors yourself, you yeah. know, whether it's yeah. Amir Khan to now Shabana Azmi. Yeah. Um, you have been around these living legends and face the camera. But with Shabana Ji, because there's also a veteran aspect, a seniority. Sure. What was that dynamic, Kunal, for you? Shabana Ji, you know, you have this image of her in your head that she's somebody who's very serious. Yeah. And like you're saying, she comes with this... Whole baggage. You know, it's yeah. before Shabana Azmi enters, Shabana Azmi enters yeah. the room. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but uh, she's so yeah. much fun. She's just full of like stories <laughs> and jokes and she's uh, so warm to be around. So I think in a day or two, you know, you've, you've forgotten that you you're... You warmed up to her. Yeah, yeah, and she's warmed up to you and she makes it so simple. And I think that's what a, a lot of like great actors do. You know, whether it's Shahrukh or it's Amir, uh, or it's Shabana ji, you know, they, when Madhuri Dikshit, when they're on a set with you, they do whatever it takes to make sure that everybody's comfortable. And nobody feels like they're working with Shabana Azmi. And as an actor, of course, it's, it's amazing because, uh, I mean, there were so many scenes that we have together where uh, there's a part of you which is the character, but then there's a part of you inside which is the actor looking at her and going, my wow. God, how is she doing that? 
Ranveer told me about actually not with somebody so senior. He told me when he was doing a shot with Alia for Gully Boy. And he says, mm -hmm. the first time I felt I had an out of body moment when I was doing a shot with her. And I think it was that famous station scene. Halfway through that moment, I was staring at her and I was like, how is she doing this? How is she so good? And he's saying, I think I had to do it again because it was shown on my face that there was awe. You know, so sometimes that can happen when you're yeah, working yes. with a really solid actor. Yes. Yeah. Nobody is more vulnerable than an actor about to face the camera yeah. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. On, a, on a daunting set like this, like yes. The Empire. And an artist with gravitas is always the need of the art to combat that. Yeah. And speaking of an artist with gravitas, I've actually worked with her on a reality show in television. She's gorgeous, immensely talented, and she's in the show. Now, I'm very excited because this is going to be my first conversation with her. Please welcome the gorgeous Drashti Dhani. Hi. Hello. We meet the boy Hello. and we meet again. Hi, brother. No. Hi, brother. Are you calling na, na, her? Na, na. Brother? I have na, no option. Oh, the clothes we have clothes. Okay, well, one minute. Good I, that I, we are, I need we to are know that sinking. are we all like in like... It's like a... Like color block. <laughs> I just want to know whether you and well, Dino kind of match notes and you and I definitely did. So I think they did. No, not at all. Nah, it just happened by chance. It's looking very like color black, K color black. Yeah. Yeah. Look, what are you wearing yesterday? Yes. Which color of clothes? Just like that. Yes, it was like that. So we changed it for sure. Exactly. So let's get to the first and the most important question. This is your first time on the couch. Yes. yes. <laughs> How first does it feel? First time on the couch. How does it feel? I'm actually really nervous yeah. and a tad bit overwhelmed. But I think I've done something right in my career that I'm sitting right across you on coffee shots with Karan and sitting with all of you and but I, having this chat show. But I sat across you for many, many, many weeks. Yeah, you did, <laughs> so you, it's actually. It's time that you return that favor by sitting across me. <laughs> I, saw you, I saw you perform for oh, yeah. nearly four, months, four in a, months in a row. She was the winner of the show. Oh, you won? Yeah, yeah I heard. She won. She just telling she won but we specific. never spoke one on one. This yeah, is did. very different. Yeah, this is the conversation. So you worked and for four months and you didn't speak to each other? Did you scream We're not allowed to know we, we had no time. We, we did you shout at her? No, never. No. no. I was kind. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was polite. He, he I was, was actually kind. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm Who was polite kind? and kind. No, like... She meant the other judges weren't. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> All right. Rashid, this is amazing. I saw your first look and you look stunning. Thank and you. And the entire show, the spectacle of it, just makes it even more special. It uh, actually is really special because I had never thought when I signed up for this show that it's going to be this big. Of course, it's the first time I'm coming on an OTT platform. So right. it was a big step for me. And uh, just look, I think the first time I realized that this show is this big is when I saw the trailer. I was just telling you that. The first oh, time I, I thought saw you were going to say when I saw Kunal on the set. <laughs> no, no. Go on, go on, sorry. <laughs> I think she meant it subconsciously. <laughs> reaction. She just felt like it was coming. But yeah, from her. Didn't. Dilse. It, Dilse. Didn't. it didn't happen. So that was the first time I realized the, the magnitude of the show. The gravitas of it all. Was it fun working with these boys or were they brats on set? So initially, uh, like I said, the, the environment for me is very different uh, because I come from TV where we meet every single day for 12 hours. So the way you know your co-actors is very different. Like you know them as, you know that they're having a bad day today or oh, you have to go and buy that thing today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've got uh, like khichdi for lunch today. You know today. the domestic Sabzi issues. Kyao, yeah, exactly. we actually Sabzi do because we're all the time on set. We are for 12 hours on set yeah. every single day. So, uh, when I entered on this set, it was very different. Of course, the show is very intense. Everyone was too much into their character and I didn't know that I'm supposed to move forward that way. They would just know their lines. Like, when we would be on set, they would be like, Haan, ye takt ko ye, ye wo. and I would be like with my script, ye takt ko ye, which line is he saying? Where is this line? And I'm like, okay, okay. So, I was really lost. That, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, from what I understand, the way, you know, you've shot a lot of daily soaps and, you know, you've been ruling the television screen for so many years, uh, that I believe that you get a lot of times, invariably because it's a daily telecast, that you get scenes early in the morning and you have to learn monologues in like yeah. 20 I minutes. I can actually mug up my lines in five minutes if you give me a page. Then why won't you But prep? it's normal Hindi. For, oh, and here, there was, was a lot Urdu. of Urdu, Urdu. Urdu. <laughs> and I was never corrected. For, I, I've done TV for 12 years, but so, I was not corrected. So, so I want to ask everyone a question because we talked about Shabana ji. Whose nukta did she correct? First day, <laughs> first, first sentence. She corrected the director's nukta Did she nukta say, did, for khubsurat, gham, kambakht, which were the, the, the She nukhtas? told me yakin. Yakin. Now I get it because yeah. that time I said, yakin. Beta, yakin, yakin hota hai. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay. But the very first meeting she did with my writer 
on the film. She walked in and uh, um, and and she said, "So ye hoga fir." She said, "Fir." She said, "Fir to nahi keh payengi aap." And she didn't stop there. She says, "Kahiye na." So that poor writer was like, "Fir." <laughs> And she once <laughs> called me and she says, "I don't know how you know you, but your nukta has always fall in place. You say kambak, you say han, you say ham. You know because these are where the nukta has really fall into place right. in the language. Like you know, Correct. It's, it's from the epiglottis, Correct. as Shahrukh Khan has taught us. So uh, that's what I wanted to know, and I'm glad that I got the answer I was looking for. <laughs> she was correct. She was correct. correcting our director as well. Oh really? Not even while she was obviously Eba. performing the scene in her regular life. Okay. She was like, "Beta, ऐसा नहीं होता, ऐसा बोलते हैं." अच्छा, well that and is, she loves that. I mean, well, rightfully so. She has the experience. We said. So tell me, when it comes to language, Shabana ji, all this, like takes, when it comes to takes. So who's the master take person, like the one with the maximum takes, who asks for them or needs them? He'll I ask, ask for them, but ask. I don't get them. He's I looked never at you and said that. <laughs> yeah. I ask for them, but I never got them. He is never, never satisfied. He say, "Ek aur, ek aur, ek aur." But that's a need of <laughs> an artist. Ha, yeah, yeah, Ravi. I mean, you feel insecure. You want to feel that you can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they're like, I mean, Mitakshara and Nikhila, like, we got it. We yeah, got it. Moving on. We got on. it. So I think first few times they gave it to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, ye
I actually would want uh, more uh, action films for uh, women. Women. Nice. nice. All right. Who do you think is the Raja or the rather the Emperor of Indian television? You can't say Ekta Kapoor. She's anyway the certified queen. Amitabh Bachchan, because yeah. half the year he is uh, well done, winning all the TRPs. Uh. And also, there's no one who can host a show better, better than him. The way he does KBC, That's no good. one can. So all right, know. rate the following actors on their discipline on the sets of the Empire: mm. Kunal Kapoor, mm. Dino Moria, Rahul Dev, Shabana Azmi, Aditya Seel. I haven't worked with Rahul Dev and Aditya Seel. Okay. So I'll just say Shabana Ji, Kunal, and Dino last. Okay. <laughs> but so much love that you're distracting her. Achha, shaadi karne ke baad. Aisa hi hota hai shaadi ke baad. Drashti, what are the three things you'd like to change about the Indian television industry? Firstly, the working hours for sure. Okay. Uh, secondly, the content. We are getting better, but I right. think we can still get better. And third, a little more natural acting and less of melodrama. Fantastic. What is the worst acting advice ever given to you? Hopefully it wasn't okay, on the set of the Empire. I swear it was. So. Uh, so in all our shows we have to say Arthis, right, in front yeah. of the god. And someone actually told me that if you say A B C D E F G, you and it'll lip sync. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I actually tried doing it. And then my director is like, please go to your room, take 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> please go learn it and come back. This is not working. Who's the current actor, a female actor, that you consider your role model in the Hindi film industry? Your favorite, Kang. Sorry, yeah. Priyanka Chopra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. If Stop you woke up, I'm just keeping a straight face if you notice. It's my rest of the right face. Sorry. Uh, if you woke up one day as Ekta Kapoor, what would you do? Uh, I would transfer all her shares, her bank balance, her properties in my name, go to sleep and wake up as Drashti Dham. <laughs> well, fantastic. How I think you should give her the hand. How materialistic of you, I Doesn't have to matter. say. Anyway, Drashti, that was a fantastic debut. Well done. Uh, and rapid yeah, fire, yeah, clap, yeah, clap, yeah, clap, yeah, clap. Yeah, yeah, Slow yeah, yeah, applause yeah, yeah. for you. Uh, Kunal, okay, my tough, turn. Tough act to follow. Oh, yes, it. yes, very tough. All right, rate these on-screen kings in terms of their stature and performance. Um, top to bottom: Rithik Roshan, Ranveer Singh, Shahid Kapoor, Prabhas, Shahrukh Khan. So I haven't seen Shahid and Shahrukh. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I think it would be Rithik, uh, Ranveer, and uh, Prabhas. All right, fantastic. If Bollywood was an empire, who would be the following? The king. The king. Uh, you know, you've heard of Shah Rukh Khan as the king for so long that you that can't think of, of anybody embedded. else. Yeah, the queen. Just, the queen. I think uh, Priyanka Chopra. I think she's, you know, gone and done things that nobody else has managed yes, to do. So, majestically. So PC. <laughs> the prince. The prince. I think would be Dugu. Okay. On his way to being the king. Lovely princess. Princess uh, Alia. Okay. Lovely. The court jester. The court jester, I think, would be Ranveer Singh. But you know what's amazing about Ranveer <laughs> is that he can be the court jester, the prince, and eventually the king. Ah, so he can be all of that. So that 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 shows so many different shades yeah. for one man. Yeah, all right. So I think okay. he's amazing. Behead, marry, lock up, Deepika, Alia, Anushka. So I think I would uh, behead Alia okay. just out of envy for how talented she is. Okay, fantastic. So I think that would definitely happen. <laughs> uh, Anushka, uh, I think I would marry, okay. but then I think Virat would behead me. Yeah, and uh, I think Deepika I would lock up because I think uh, yes. you know things of uh, yes. value and beauty yeah. are usually locked Should up. Should be conserved. Tumhe yes, koi, so. Tumhe koi chue, mujhe har Correct. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. On a battlefield, who do you think would be doing the following strategizing? Strategizing would be Amir. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Just yelling. Just yelling, I think I would be doing because I've yelled so much in all the battle scenes. I've right. now reached a place where I have yells that are graded from one to ten. Okay, so the director says, "Okay, four." This and one's like, funny. Yeah! <laughs> this one's funny on a battlefield. I don't know how this can happen, but I'm asking anyway. Clicking selfies on a battlefield. I would, think you, <laughs> for sure. I thought. But I then think the battle I walked wouldn't into happen. that one. I think I walked right into that one. <laughs> but I don't think the battle would happen because you'd be waiting for the right light. No, and the right. No, my pout is on any light. Oh, okay. manage. Good, I don't good, care when you can good. keep doing the shout. I'll be doing the pout. <laughs> Which of these things would you like to bring back from the medieval age? No phones, the clothes, polygamy, or everyday feasts? I think I'd go with food. I don't think there's anything more satisfying than food. Then the food. Yeah. You want to bring that back, huh? <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Okay. If you're made the king of Bollywood for a day, what would you change? I would change the decree that said that I should be the king of Bollywood for a day. 
and make it king of Bollywood forever. Okay, that's what you would do. Yeah, so I'd change the decree for sure. Very clever. Okay, what pegam would you send to the following people to Sonu Sood? To Sonu Sood, I would say that, brother, your heart is dry, and for you, the world is bigger. Wow! What a matter! What a matter! Okay, pegam to Virat Kohli. Virat, you are the best of this country. Virat Kohli. आप महान हैं। वाह, वाह। You're a poet and you did not know it. And to Abhishek Bachchan, to AB, AB I would say मेरे भाई कबड्डी कबड्डी कबड्डी। I love you buddy. That did write very well, but no, it's okay. But you did well in the other two. You're allowed one. You're allowed one slightly off poem. If you were given a time machine, if you were given a time machine. Which role of yours would you go back and reject? I would need a couple of time machines. Actually, <laughs> I don't think one would do. I would also want a time machine to go back and accept some roles. So, all right, fantastic. And of course, the very last question is: Who's next? Would you want to feature in, and why? Bansali's, Rohit Shetty's, or Raju Hirani's? Oh come on, all of them. How can it be one of them? But okay, if it had to be one of them, I think it would be Raju, uh, because he's. His movies have always been my favorite. Yes. Uh, and uh, I, I would play a doormat yeah. in Raju Hirani's film. I would do anything. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he's fantastic. Well, master storyteller and yeah. rightfully. Amazing. Rightfully. Well, well done, Kunal. A great act Thank that you, you followed yeah, from a great act. Better. So, I yeah. mean, no, well I think done. I, Bravo. I was better. I was better. I, I will decide. That decision Whoa. will be taken only in a while. My poetry. All right. Your decisions Amazing. are based on uh, right, right answers, was, nice answers. I'm not happen, going to be uh, giving you any tips. Just really, no tips. Yeah. All tips right, you know, here straight. you go. Rate these on-screen villains or badasses in terms of their performance. Ranveer Singh as Khilji, Saif Ali Khan as Uday Bhan Singh, Intana Ji, Nawazuddin Siddiqui as Ganesh Kai Tonde, Saif Ali Khan, Ranveer, Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is the is the Khilji? Kilji, Gaitonde, and Uday Bhan. Uday Bhan Singh. All right, all right. Okay. We had Mary Lockup, Vipika, Alia, Katrina. Vipika, uh, <clears throat> Alia, Katrina. Vipika's married. Alia's not. Katrina's not. Okay. So. Oh. Oh, he's suddenly being well, very, just, very wow. I'm, you know, virtuous. Hey, hey, moralistic. Virtue. You know. You see. So, Katrina. I'd uh, lock up Deepika. She's married. Jesus. Uh, oh God. I'd marry mm. Alia. She's sweet. You'll just kill her. You'll be head. I don't want to, okay. but I have to. All right. I don't have a choice. All right. I love the way you first went on about their marital status and that then didn't matter. matter. I, I love because you were still married. I just Deepika. want to know. I just I think, want to know. I think we've got to give you a negative marker. I didn't even tell you, bro, bro, bro. You don't want to like this at all. Well, this bro, know, bro bonding well, is going to go out of the window. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And what pegam would you send to M S Dhoni? Oh, come back to cricket. We miss you. We love oh. you. You're a great guy. All right. If you were made the king of Bollywood for a day, what would you change? I would change the industry's perception about me and and me. Stay why, the why king me? <laughs> forever. Stay the king forever. <laughs> Grab that answer, didn't you? If you had to take over somebody's empire, who would it be? Shah Rukh Khan's, Mukesh Ambani's, Ekta Kapoor's, Jeff Bezos's? Who's it? Well, they say aim for the moon, right? Jeff Bezos. He's the only one aiming for the moon. He's the one who's making it somewhere close by as well. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Jeff Bezos. All right. Yeah. Okay. One role that you regret rejecting. I didn't get that role, but anyway, <laughs> on a light note, there were there were two films I I I, I missed. One was uh, Golmal and uh, Zeher. Zeher, yeah, okay. Zahir. All right. Who in the industry would need a better advisor? Vazir. Everyone in the in the industry is an advisor. Now to advise an advisor would be really tough. Everybody has. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has an opinion, and everybody gives you advice. So yeah, yeah. rather just be, well, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. I should change that about myself then. Stop telling people <laughs> what <Yeah>. to do. <laughs> it's a problem even I have. Okay, football or sex? What would you give up? Football. Of course. <laughs> Just, Why did I feel like that I question mean, shouldn't have know, existed? It, yeah, it, was, it, was a, it was a. All right. Okay. We're waking up as a lot of people. So if you woke up as Tiger Shroff, what would you do? Oh God! If I woke up as Tiger Shroff, I'd do a sus, somersault out of bed, do three backflips, moonwalk moon my way to the airport, and go to Maldives because. 
you know what's in Maldives. Okay, I got that, but it yeah, I, mean, I, I eventually got that. Yeah. Three people you would invite to your darbar to entertain you would be you. Okay, me. Well, since we've uh, locked up Katrina, we can call her too. And uh, he's really after Katrina. Well, you asked me to lock her up. I mean, you asked me, and yeah, she's yeah. locked up in. And Ali has beheaded. So Deepika, three of us, you know, we can entertain you. Why not? You can't. And you what would can't. I be doing with Katrina, <laughs> Deepika, <laughs> and you? We would be sitting on this couch, and you would be rapid firing questions to us. Mm. And I don't think we'd pay attention. Darling, I'd just bring in the rapid. You would be bringing in all the fire. I mean, I'd just be rapiding my way there. That's all I do. All right, that was our rapid fire. And do we have a winner? Is the I, million I do, dollars? I do think yes. I won, actually. What honestly. do you think, really? Honestly, who thinks that honestly, this is I, yeah, You know, you should, you should say, because you know you're losing. Why yeah, should I? I, I, I don't no, think no, you're no, part no, of no, this no. contest. No. I think mine were the coolest answers. You know, and I'm Shebani Khan. Just because you're a bacha doesn't mean you have to win. Okay, so we have a winner. I have to tell you who the winner is. Yes. Dino, it's not you. I know, I knew it, I knew it, I knew you were going to say that. Did you give me a heart attack? I was like, no, you can't be Dino. Dino, it's not you. That was predictable. So, just like Miss India, we narrow it down. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it, it's uh. not you. See the chairs. Um, I have to say it was rather close, everyone did well. And it was very close, but by a breath. There is one winner, and the winner is. Go on. And the and I actually feel you're less stressed right now. Yeah, yeah. We are actually, I'm, I'm actually you feeling like yeah, yeah, I'm dying to know because I'm, I'm not Drum in it now. Drum rolls, like they say in the Mughal Empire. <laughs> okay, breathe. Drum rolls. Don't, don't share it. It's not you, it's you, Kunal. Okay, I have a lower back. Can you come and just take this off? Are you serious? No, I was actually better. Come on. You did really well, but you did well, but yeah. Yeah, he was I mean, just a more didn't... evocative in his answers. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Kunal. Oh, I can, there was, there was poetry and everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so one minute. Okay, I'll, we just, just, I'll just save it for Dino. Can we just take it later? <laughs> <laughs> hugs, 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 well done. Since you can't carry it, I'll carry it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. I, so I, would, I would be under an MRI if I lived there. That. It's very heavy, I don't know what's in there. So guys, this is the end of our conversation and I had the greatest time chatting with all of you and I hope you did too. And I yes. can't wait for India to watch The Empire, which casts all of you fantastic artists, Drashti and Kunal and Dino and Shabana Ji and Aditya Seel and Rahul Dev and fantastic ensemble of talent. So India, everyone, please don't miss it. It's going to be a spectacle. It's going to have technical brilliance, narrative structure that's top notch and performances that are exemplary. Don't miss The Empire on Disney Plus Hotstar. And on that note, I'm going to thank you for coming on Coffee Shots with Karan. It's been an absolutely fun and fabulous conversation. And really, as I said this earlier from the bottom of my heart, I wish all of you and every member of the cast and crew of The Empire all the very best thank on a you. super successful run ahead. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. Thank you, Karan. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Really, thank you.